Hey everybody, it is me. It's your old buddy Steve Simons, and I'm coming back with another episode of the Awesomers.com podcast series. And this is actually episode number 158. And uh, all you have to do is go to awesomers.com slash 158 to see any show notes and details. And I'll put some uh, links on there or something, uh, maybe some more elaborate notes than normal even. Uh, today's a, a special episode, a weird episode, because I'm basically letting you guys know that last Friday I began treatment for stage four melanoma cancer. Now, this obviously not my favorite thing to share and uh, certainly not even my favorite thing to uh, deal with, but it is what it is. And it's going to uh, have slight modifications on my schedule. And I just wanted to share with you guys what that means from my perspective and also set the record straight because I know, um, you know, people start to worry or they start to have questions. And I just want to make sure that you guys hear directly from me. So, first of all, uh, Otherwise, I remain very healthy and strong uh, and relatively young and fit to fight this uh, particular uh, illness. Uh, I have no current side effects um, of the treatment from last Friday. I have no symptoms of the um, internal issues that uh, <laughs> happen to be happening. And, and that's, um, that's good, right? Uh, I feel good. And I have really no way of knowing. In fact, I wouldn't know this was even happening except there's some internal scans that were happening over the past few months, which included some recent biopsies uh, last week that kind of laid out uh, the challenge ahead, if you will. And uh, for those uh, who are interested, I don't exactly know where this came from. Um, you may notice that I have kind of a scar on my, my forehead. I've had that scar. It's kind of a giant S shape for Superman. No, for Steve. No. It was actually a, uh, they uh, removed something from my forehead many years ago that was not melanoma yet. Uh, it was precancerous, but it had the, uh, I can't remember what they call it, plastia, dyslex, plastia, I don't know. But they're like, hey, we got to get rid of that thing. And I don't even remember when this was. I would say it's anywhere from 18 to 20 years ago. And, um, and the, there's some speculation that, you know, maybe whatever was up there didn't get fully dealt with. and, and uh, it ran amok, but there's other ways these things could happen. But as my doctor told me last Friday, it doesn't matter how, it matters we deal with what we got right now. So um, my treatment will begin in the form of immunotherapy, which is a more effective version of chemotherapy, and will have uh, fewer side effects, hopefully. And for example, Friday, I had no negative side effects. I didn't even notice. I, I drove myself there, did my thing, and, and drove away. Uh, and so in spite of that treatment happening last week, uh, I will still depart for China this coming uh, weekend for a sourcing trip with many great entrepreneurs from around the world that my kids are expected to come along. I have, a, as always, a last-minute Chinese visa issue we're trying to iron out for my son, who is a minor. But assuming that we get all of the paperwork in order, they'll come along uh, to Hong Kong and China with me, and the trip will continue without any impact. And even if the kids uh, don't end up going due to visa things, I'll still be there and doing my thing. So we're going to have a great time, and it's going to be business as usual. Uh, I'm not really changing anything that I need to do on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, that said, my future schedule may be modestly adjusted to accommodate more frequent hotel visits. Um, I generally consider this thing a giant annoying inconvenience. <laughs> um, as of this moment, uh, that's how I, uh, you know, uh, look at it because uh, I'm fine. I'll carry on with my important priorities. Uh, those priorities include things like the Empowery uh, Cooperative and uh, doing some awesomer stuff from time to time. Uh, but my lower priority businesses, I'll probably start selling those, discarding those, or divesting from those, especially if they have a consumer focus, so that I can put my priorities on my, my health, the kids, and other entrepreneurial community resources and uh, activities. Now, if there does come a day, for example, that I don't feel kind of uh, up to doing some of these things, then I'll step back. And uh, my priority, of course, will be my health and my family. But that's not where we're at today. In fact, uh, we're, we're not near that uh, point uh, from my perspective. It's, it's still, uh, there's a long way to go. Uh, and as far as I'm concerned, I'm going to whack this thing uh, and, and be done with it. So this will happen over the course of the next several months. And 
Um, and again, I don't expect much to be happening with regard to my most of my day-to-day -day activities that I uh, am focusing on. One of the things I want to share with you guys is I'm focused, you know, I've sold stuff B to C for <laughs> a generation plus, right? For um, certainly well over 20 years. And I'm, I'm pretty good at it. I get it. It's not that interesting to me. Um, you know, racking up your score. Uh, it's probably very close that, that in total turnover that, that I've put together has now passed around a billion dollars at, at the total revenue level. But don't get it twisted. That doesn't mean some billion dollars ended up in my pocket. That's not how businesses work. Um, you know, many of these enterprises had dozens or even hundreds of employees, uh, investors, and all kinds of expenses. So it's not like these things are, uh, you know, uh, you know, revenue does not equal profit. And uh, uh, from time to time, I repeat, you know, slogans around that. You know, revenues for vanity and profits for sanity. So. I just want to let you guys know I pass certain benchmarks that I feel good about and therefore my consumer orientation may be ratcheted down somewhat with the exception of network effect businesses that, that I still love and I, I find the most uh, satisfaction fulfillment from. Like the Empowery Co-op, uh, if you haven't joined, I encourage you to join. It's a systemic way to help all e-commerce entrepreneurs. The Awesomers podcast, I even have a greater sense of urgency to put things out there and publish them for the benefit of my kids and for my fellow entrepreneurs. Um, and, and things, projects like kevinandsteve.com and uh, sellerchatbot.com and other things that I'm involved in. Those, uh, I want to make sure that those are successful and really pushed out there. So lower priorities go away, higher priorities take the focus. That's a good thing. Now, obviously this is not, again, a fun topic and certainly not something I, uh, volunteered for um, but the reality is it's here and I'm going to deal with it and, and carry on uh, as I like to say keep calm and carry on and uh, I stole that of course from Winston Churchill and uh, and I believe it and I again I have no doubt that this will just be another uh, obstacle that I'll overcome and carry on so again I'll be changing my schedule somewhat um, and despite my normal private nature I, I don't usually share stuff. In fact, on my Facebook, you know, my kids are my number one. I love my kids. I love my family. But I rarely, I don't think I've ever posted my pictures of my kids or things that my kids are doing just out of their uh, respect to their privacy. Mostly I, I show my personal persona and professional persona. And, uh, and I don't get much into the personal side. But I know this is very personal. And so I'm just letting you guys know I'm outside my comfort zone. And the reason I'm actually sharing this at all, I would actually not tell anybody anything uh, if there weren't kind of um, external consequences. One of those consequences is for everybody who calls me, emails me, texts me, messages me, and asks for help or, or other types of things, there may be a delay in me getting back to you based on any number of these things that I'm prioritizing. Uh, and in fact, I would recommend that people who need that help go to the Facebook groups that I frequent, um, go to empowery.com slash contact and ask for support there uh, because I'm just going to be slower and I may not be able to respond at all. You know, I love entrepreneurs and I love to say that I'm at your service and I'm quite serious about that. Uh, my mentality in that regard will not cease. I will not stop because that's just part of my DNA. That's part of who I am. But it's logical to assume that, in fact, my priorities and focus on recovery and on my family may need to come before I uh, tell you what size pallet you should take or, um, you know, how to find a uh, certain supplier in Vietnam or whatever. Um, anything that is, is done through the uh, pay-for-play businesses, obviously those will be priorities, Simo Global, Empowery, et cetera, et cetera. But for literally every day, there's somebody asking for help on online and I, I love to help. Uh, I've counted up at one point and it's, you know, certainly well over a thousand uh, individual help requests that I've tried to help uh, over these years. And I just may not have that time in the future. That's why I'm sharing this because I don't want you to look at it and go, well, geez, Steve used to be helpful. Now he's just kind of a jerk ignoring me. Um, I was always a jerk and I just chose not to ignore you. No, I, I try not to be a jerk and, 
my attention will be on where it needs to be for all the right reasons. I'm sure you understand. So listen, there's no doubt I will overcome this illness and I didn't volunteer for this assignment. Let's be clear, but I have received the assignment and I'm, uh, I'm actually thankful for the clarity uh, and the overall sense of purpose it gives me even with a greater urgency, right? There's nothing like focus to go, well, well, you know, is this done and why not? And what does that mean? And why, why shouldn't you just get on it and get it done? So there's, you know, there's plenty of things that will come out of this that will be positive, uh, even in the near term, if it's a, a bit of a headache and, and a giant inconvenience, as I like to say. So there's lots of things happening in the entrepreneurial community, uh, the Amazon centric community, the podcasting, just, you know, so many things are going on. So it's, it's going to be fun. Uh, for those who don't know, my buddy Kevin King is holding his second billion dollar uh, seller summit in November. Uh, and I will be there along with Kevin and we're going to unveil the next beta round for the Kevin and Steve .com project. That is a project near and dear to my heart and will continue on. Uh, and we'll pick up a massive amount of momentum because we have uh, lots of resources deployed to help this. And our current round one beta guys are giving us very nice feedback, letting us know we're on the right track. And I, again, you know, even though we've kept that hush hush mostly so we don't disappoint people, the one thing I can tell you is it's designed to help entrepreneurs and their businesses. And that is, you know, part of my core DNA. Uh, Melissa Simonson, uh, my sister and also the, the GM of Empowery, announced the women's conference. You can go to empowery.org slash women's conference uh, to get the details. Uh, although men are welcome, I would just tell you this is a, um, an event produced by women. 100% of speakers are women, and they'll be speaking in a voice that's oriented towards women entrepreneurs. So although men can go, and obviously you're certainly welcome, uh, this is this is about women by women for women and so if you're a woman you definitely should go uh, and I think it's going to be a terrific terrific thing uh, and I'm you know proud of Melissa and the gang uh, Megan and others who have been helping along uh, the way to get this thing done it's going to be really fun uh, so listen that's that's the summary for today um, you know I'm I'm again I feel great uh, obviously, I look great. If you can see the video version of this, you would agree. And uh, and I'm going to keep focused on the most important things. You know, we all have a limited time on this planet, and I, you know, plan on spending my time on the most important things, which include my kids, my family, my immediate closest friends, and then my entrepreneurs, who I truly do love. When I say I love entrepreneurs, it's it's not like I love Taco Tuesday. You know, I truly love entrepreneurs and I want to see each of you that are dedicated and, and truly committed to this lifestyle, uh, you know, have a wonderful thing. And I apologize on the audio. I forgot to use my microphone on this one, so it may not be great audio. My apologies for that. Uh, but uh, I'm just trying to get this thing done. So thank you again, everybody. Um, uh, one final note, I suppose. <laughs> I know I'm going to get a lot of advice uh, about my medical condition and, and the things I should be doing. And I would just ask you guys to respect my own uh, sense of uh, leadership. I will decide what I'm going to do and when and where. And as much as I appreciate everybody's well wishes and, and advice, I, I'm, I'm on it. I got, I got it covered. Uh, please don't feel like you need to send me, you know, if I, you know, do a backflip and eat cinnamon upside down, then the whole thing will go away. Um, I'm on it. I got it. So uh, please refrain from giving me lots of advice on that regard, if you don't mind. Uh, anyway, awesomers.com slash 158. This is the episode where Steve says he's got cancer and he's dealing with it and you shouldn't worry about it. And uh, I'll keep doing what I do. And I want you guys to keep doing what you do. Thanks again, everybody. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.